A guilty verdict in the first trial stemming from the murder at the Short Hills Mall. This afternoon, the jury convicted the getaway driver on all counts. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live at the courthouse in Newark with more. Tony? 1,203 days since 30 year old attorney Dustin Friedland was shot dead during a carjacking. His wife, Jamie, witnessed the horror that night, and she was the first to take the stand when testimony began March 15th. Today, her attorney, Bruce Nagel, called her with the news. Quote, Jamie is grateful for the verdict and the hard work of the prosecutors and investigators who brought this criminal to justice. Dustin Friedland's mother, Rose, and sister, Deanna, held hands and held each other tight as the verdicts were announced. Guilty. Guilty. Seven times that word rang out in the hushed courtroom. Basim Henry, convicted on charges including felony murder, carjacking, and weapons possession. This is definitely a step towards resolution, and whatever means it can, we can use to expedite the resolution of the three other defendants, we will. Henry is the first of four men to stand trial for the 2013 fatal carjacking of Dustin Friedland, gunned down after shopping with his wife, Jamie, at the upscale Short Hills Mall. She moved many to tears with her brave testimony about that terrible night. I saw Dustin laying there in a pool of blood and I ran over to him. I was screaming, stay with me, stay with me. I know he heard me, I know he heard me. Folks, anyone willing to say a few words? Members of the jury left without commenting. Their questions during deliberations seemed to indicate they struggled with New Jersey law allowing murder charges against all parties involved, no matter their role. Basim Henry acted as a getaway driver. I've seen him done before we went to Short Hill. I guess, I don't know if it was strong on him, take the keys. The prosecution successfully argued that Henry knew force would be necessary to steal the Friedland's luxury SUV. The racially diverse jury of six men and six women deliberated for about 21 hours over four days. Basim Henry faces 30 to life when he is sentenced on May 5th. Trial dates have not yet been set for his three co-defendants. At the courthouse in Newark, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Tony, thank you.